Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining this new video. Today we're going to be running round 6. And round 6 is basically try to optimize our previous campaign. Uh, more specifically, try to see which one uh, works better. I mean, if display advertisement or display retargeting advertisement. So we're going to take a look at that and also we're going to make some changes and uh, improvements to our display advertisement and retargeting advertisement to see how that goes. And always we're going to try to improve our, our uh, search advertisement too. So let's take a look at what this new round brings to the table. Okay. So round six, sorry, is about increasing revenue. I think uh, increasing revenue will be uh, from now on the the objective for our campaigns. And our goal will be reaching $17,500 across campaigns. But this time you won't have more budget. You won't have more money. You will have the same money you got from the previous round means um, your budget will be uh, $10,500. So you're gonna have to redistribute, reallocate your money to make it more effective. So let's see what our tasks are for this week. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned before, you're gonna have to optimize a previous campaign, retargeting and display advertisement. You're going to have to determine which one gave you um, better results and implement some changes, reallocate your budget uh, accordingly, right? So let's say that the retargeting advertisement gave you better results. So you're going to have to put more money on that uh, format. If it was the opposite, display advertisement give you better, better uh, results, you're going to have to put more money on that style. Uh, as always, we're going to check our landing pages and test new elements and always focusing on on sales. Check your uh, search ads. Always review all the levels from keywords to, you know, uh, ad groups and ads and see how they can be improved. OK, so with no further ado, we go and start checking our optimization campaign. So. I want to show you this, sorry, this graphic, okay, because I think it's important. Um, I'm just trying to find ways to improve my previous result. I'm, you know, also exploring this new version of the simulator. So trying to play around and see what are the best options in which way I can get better results. So I took a screenshot of one of my product landing page and, you know, try to figure out what can I do. So one of the ideas that came to my mind was, okay, what if instead of focusing on just creating appealing statements for people to buy my product, I use the information that comes with the landing page. So this section, I mean, page title, meta description, um, product title are pretty much pre that or mine. But this section, is the one that I created for my product. And this one, they, they come with the, the landing page. So you have uh, some options here that you can use to um, select from a, I think of three options. So these are the ones that I'm gonna be uh, working with because these are pretty much unique value propositions or elements that might be used to improve my my display advertisement using this uh, elements i can make it more appealing to my audiences and also this could be it could be a piece of information that um, i would definitely consider to improve or make my advertisement a little bit more attractive and make it match with the uh, content the copy of my, my ads right so it makes more connections with it connects better with with um, the landing page. So what I did basically is I took this, you know, free shipping, free return, and uh, space for all your essentials, and I create some. I modified some um, some headlines, and I wrote a new 
uh, description and new short headlines to make it fit with this elements okay so as you can see here this is the final result for the uh, display advertisement so now instead of just talking about the product and its characteristic in terms of you know materials or stuff or things that you can do i'm more focusing on uh what is the offer right what is the special promo so uh in this case it's free shipping free return so when you create the ad uh i made these changes here so i want to show you if uh get this uh document here this was this was my previous um copy for the display advertisement for american dream backpack so as you can see here, the long headline um, reads like travel in style and stay organized with the versatile American uh, dream backpack by now. And the short headline, so, you know, I'm going to just compare one by one. And the long headline now is special offer today, free shipping and returns buying now. So now I'm more focused on those elements that come with the uh, landing pages you can compare as well the short headlines like stylish travel everywhere free shipping on your purchase uh organize and check on your trip free return on all purchases now this is not the most creative short headline it's not the most creative uh long headlines you can you can always make it better but it's just for you to understand what i'm doing i'm trying to match those elements that again are part of the landing page that are given to you where you have to select from and use it as a unique value propositions or elements that will you know hook your your audience with the product and understanding that display advertisement is more visual or you have less words uh, these elements could be very important to grab people's attention at the very beginning and for the descriptions, they are pretty much the same. I made some small changes. Um, you can see the last one uh, reads, American Dream Backpack is perfect com companion for your uh, next trip or adventure. Shop now. Now is stay in train with, the, with this versatile and spacious uh, backpack to carry all your essentials. So all your essentials, part of that unique value proposition. Having said that, I you know made the changes on my... Um, ads so if you go to display ads you will see that these changes are already uh, here right you can see the the new the new um, headlines and short headlines is, are, are, are here and also the descriptions okay so uh, I did the same for the uh, messenger right so comfortable design and sustainable materials are part of those elements when you check the uh, landing page here, can you see that? Sustainable materials, comfortable uh, design. So I'm just trying that to see if I get better results. So for my previous campaign, so for number uh, round number five, you can see that um, for my display ads, so backpack was my uh, retargeting campaign and messenger was my uh, normal display campaign so as you can see here i got better results uh, on the retargeting campaign for for a backpack so i'm gonna allocate more money in this one even though i would say the results weren't why i was what i was expecting um yeah still uh, lower than my ads or my search ads um, you can see that um, i allocated for search ads uh eight thousand seven hundred dollars and i spent um yeah not I, I didn't spend all of all of it but my revenues were pretty good like twenty thousand almost twenty one thousand dollars which is way more that the system is requesting from you but display advertisement is taking you know like a lot a lot of you know money to get you know a few revenue so still exploring to see uh, how this could be improved so this i think is going to be my 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 try now is getting those elements connected from one um 
from 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 the display to the um, landing page. We'll see how how that goes. Um, yeah, going back to my scenario, right? So we always have to check the previous campaigns and see how uh, they they uh, worked. And I think for search advertisement, most of them uh, worked pretty well, like, you know, over 4.2% on uh, click through rate, conversion rates also uh, went well. So yeah, definitely I will keep working with this one. But my advice always is check your keywords, guys. So I already did this. Um, Remember that every round, the suggested bid might change. Four uh, keywords will be changing depending on, you know, how many, com I mean, how much competition this keyword had, or uh, the price of the, you know, the the bidding, the bidding pricing. So it's important, guys, here to be constantly checking and modifying your your bid. So take your bids. I would say anywhere. Uh, between 20 to uh, 25 30 percent above the suggested bid so I did my homework I just you know um, made that changes I I'm bidding 20 percent above the suggested bid I'm, I don't want to be paying more than I should so yeah I would say do that homework it's you know it's quite tedious but it's needed okay and do the same with all the keywords if you see any keywords like this one like daffel is you know in red numbers like it's minus uh 134 um dollars in um profit so basically i'm losing money here uh you can either like try to improve the content you have for this keyword but you know it is very expensive so i would say just pause it and you can do the same with all the other keywords, so all the rest to me are performing quite well. You can see that they they all have over four percent on on um, conversion rate. Yeah, and the rest is okay. So yeah, check your check your keywords. That is important. And then uh, search ads. Oh, you you always can uh, double check that. Everything is correct. You can add more keywords, guys. That's another option uh, to get more impressions and consequently more more clicks. But um, yeah, I suggest definitely doing that. Um, like this one is, you know, very it's performing very bad. I would say I will just definitely um, pause it. You can see it's just ten dollars. In, in revenue so i'm just gonna pause it and reallocate that money to more successful one and then display ads um yeah you can see here that this ad is, is not performing uh, very well so um this is retargeting marketing and this is um display so let's Let's try to make a change for this campaign and I'm going to be running this sorry this one I'm going to try to run this one as a uh, retargeting campaign as well maybe we can make more money there so edit so so far it's going to be uh, anyone who visit who visited American dream product page maybe if this is not working well uh, you can always try with different different target audiences. So that's another option um, if you want to explore that. I would say why not? So you can instead of young professionals, you can go with um, you know hipsters, a mom, or hiking. It depends on what kind of product you are selling and um, your your target audience definition. To me, I'm gonna just keep with young professional. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there and save it. For American Dream Backpack, I I think I edited it already, so I'm just gonna keep this people coming to the product page, and uh, for Affinity Group, I will work with uh, just focus on travel because you can see my campaign say travel here. So most of my keywords, or sorry, most of my 
um, copy is, you know, focus on that type of um, audiences. So I don't want to, you know, yeah, change that. If you're going to change this, you know, to, let's say, back back to school, uh, you're going to have to re rewrite your, your copy. Um, I, I, I would suggest that too. All right. So when you have when you have uh, your campaigns already adjusted, you always have to reallocate your money your money uh, wisely. So remember that um, last round. I want to just cost revenue and profit. It would be nice to have. You have this are your uh, previous results. So. Um, here you can see how much money and uh, profit each campaign got and then the cost for each campaign. So for this one, you spend it all the money, but you can see that your profits are not good. So, um, yeah, we, we, will, we will keep trying for sure, uh, trying to get people coming back here. Um, but for this one, so are pretty good. Um, this one have a very good um numbers like you know almost the whole budget was spent and the profits were pretty good same with um this one so i'm just going to keep my budget as as it is but you can reallocate the money to those campaigns that are performing better so this is something that i need to improve and i hope um with you know the changes i've done that could somehow improved okay so yeah ready to run the round six all right these are the results and it seems like my overall is you know in my overall it looks like i improved my results from last campaign so i, I remember i got uh, twenty thousand. now i improve my revenues in two thousand dollars and my display advertisement didn't change too much to be honest so i'm gonna have to keep trying on that and see you know, what's going on there. Um, the search ads are quite good. I mean, I almost spend the whole money, and yeah, most of the revenue are coming from my search ads. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. We will go to the next round in the coming and uh, upcoming videos. And yeah, I think it's gonna be about um, shopping ads. So we will try to figure out that together in the next video. If you like this content, please subscribe or uh, leave your like if you want more people to uh, see this uh, material, okay? See you in the next video and thank you for watching.